Hello, fellow travelers. I'm Jeb Brooks from greenergrass.com. Right now I'm in Shanghai, China. I'm getting ready to head to the airport to pick up a Lufthansa 747-8 bound for Frankfurt. This is a really special flight because I'm sitting in seat 1A. Not only is that first class, but it's actually in front of the pilots in the nose of the 747. This is going to be an unbelievably special journey. I can't wait to take you along with me. So it's time to head to the airport. Let's get going. But this was no typical trip to an airport. Instead, we'd take Shanghai's maglev train. It's one of the world's fastest. I couldn't believe how fast this train traveled. When we'd arrived in Shanghai at midnight just a few days earlier, it took 45 minutes with no traffic to get from the airport into the city. The train is much, much faster. 45 to get to town, 7 to get back. I can confidently recommend the maglev train as a means to get to the airport. We were quickly off to the check-in desk where, as first-class passengers, there was literally no wait. Soon, we were escorted through immigration and security without much effort or fuss, straight to the lounge. Lufthansa passengers have access to the Air China Lounge, which was a bit disappointing. A menu is available for ordering a la carte, which I did and don't recommend. The buffet, I'm sorry to say, wasn't much better. But who needs a lounge when Shanghai is one of the world's best airports for spotting planes? And the highlight for me on this day was the first glimpse of the Lufthansa 747-8 that would carry us 12 and a half hours to Frankfurt. If you're like me and think views like that are incredible, I hope you'll consider subscribing to this channel. It'd really help out. First class passengers board before just about anybody, and I rushed at the chance to get on this plane. I was so excited about this flight. Unlike many airlines with first class cabins, Lufthansa chose an open concept. Instead of private, enclosed suites, this feels very open and large. Each seat includes a privacy partition, which adds a sense of seclusion during sleep. Unfortunately, mine didn't work, but more about that later. Frankly, I prefer this open feeling over a more claustrophobic design. It's reminiscent of the current Air France La Premier cabin on the A380. Perhaps the best part of first class is the service and these flight attendants were on point. Almost the minute I sat down, champagne and nuts were provided, along with slippers. With only eight seats in first class, there's plenty of overhead bin space. That's worth noting, there are no individual gaspers, and unlike previous Lufthansa experiences, I really didn't find the cabin to be too hot this time. The seat itself is very well designed with plenty of storage, like this cubby. This one contains the noise-canceling headphones. We'll take a look at those in just a few minutes. There's a table there for nuts and champagne. And in here is the handset to control the in-flight entertainment. Here are adjustments for the seat, which are plentiful and make a comfortable seat even more so. There's also an ottoman, which contains even more storage and plenty of space for magazines and the safety card. The screen was not as big as Swiss, but certainly did the trick. We'll take a closer look at the IFE in just a few. One of the first things I always do when I get on board a flight is adjust my watch to the time zone for my destination. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Your captain speaking on behalf of the entire crew. I would like to welcome now on board of our aircraft. We are just doing some final preparation, then we are ready for flight back to Frankfurt, where we plan to arrive. On schedule. For years, sitting in the very front of a 747 has been on my bucket list. 
The taxi out of Shanghai made those years of waiting worthwhile. Sitting in front of the pilots is an aviation enthusiast's dream, and it was difficult to capture just how unique this position is on film. Lufthansa provides Bose noise-canceling headphones, which meant they actually worked. As this 747 departs Shanghai, I just want to make a quick shout out to the sponsor for this video. Dashlane is a password manager and so much more. Before agreeing to take them on as a sponsor, I used the app for several months and was so impressed. I've used other similar tools and this one is by far the best. It not only remembers passwords, but seamlessly and securely inserts all kinds of valuable information, which makes booking travel online so much easier. Join 10 million users, including me, by visiting my website, dashlane.com slash jebbrooks, to try Dashlane for free. And use my coupon code jebbrooks to get 10% off premium. And shortly after takeoff, I brought that ottoman closer, put my feet up, and got comfortable. Lufthansa's in-flight entertainment was great. There was plenty in the way of choice, it was easy to use, it was everything you could really want in in-flight entertainment. That said, the highlight for me, of course, was the moving map features. Soon, the flight attendant arrived, calling me by name, offering me a gin and tonic, and some canapes. This was going to be a great flight. First class passengers are provided with free internet for the duration of the flight. This was great. It was reliable and quite fast. Also, this feature is wonderful compared to other airlines that just provide a certain number of megabytes during a flight. Service was offered in an on-demand format, meaning you could eat what you wanted when you wanted it. I was ready to get things started, so I went straight for the caviar. That was followed by some salmon and beef, which was said to be accompanied by foie gras. I couldn't find it. Now, I find the meals provided on flights back to an airline's hub are often not quite as good as those on flights originating from their home airports. This dining experience met that expectation. The food was good, but not quite excellent. The tray table is massive, but my favorite feature was the fact that it, you could push it back away from you and have room to get out of the seat if you needed to. One of the reasons overhead bin space isn't a problem is because each passenger has a locker. Here's mine for seat 1A. Uh, it's good to be back over in Mongolia. Reminds me of some good times I had, uh, I had there uh, just a couple of years ago, especially in Lufthansa's first class. Now, Lufthansa provides uh, pajamas in first class, and I'm sure they're spectacular, but I brought my own that I think are a little bit more appropriate uh, to first class, at least for me. So let me get changed. There are roses everywhere on this flight. And if you're thirsty and need a sip of water, it's not a problem. Flight attendants kept bottles of water right here on this bar for the entire flight, which was great. It's important to stay hydrated. The amenity kit and pajamas that are provided by Lufthansa are here. Now you'll notice there's plenty in the way of amenities, everything you'd expect for a flight like this. As you'd expect, the seat folds down into a fully lie flat bed. I found this bed to be very comfortable. Now I'm five feet 11 inches tall, about 180 centimeters, and I was very comfortable. There was plenty of room and I had a great sleep. I'm just, uh, I'm just waking up now. I'm trying to keep quiet because it's a pretty open cabin. Uh, it was a great sleep. Um, and comfortable, not as comfortable as Swiss. As the sun set over Europe, it was time to eat again.
how did Lufthansa do? I rate my airline experiences in an admittedly subjective way. I base it on five factors, so let's take a look at Lufthansa. First, the lounge. They rely on the Air China Lounge in Shanghai, and it was terrible. Don't worry, I'll share some footage of the Lufthansa First Class Lounge in Frankfurt after landing. Keep watching to see that. But unfortunately, I have to rate the airline on their departure lounge, and this earns them two out of five stars. The seat is incredible. It's a great first class seat, and although some passengers may not like the open concept, I do. This would be five stars if the privacy partition hadn't been broken, so Lufthansa earns four out of a possible five stars. In-flight entertainment was great, but the screen was just a little too small for how far away it was from the seat. This earns Lufthansa four out of five stars. The food was four on a five scale. I'm sure it would have been a solid five if we'd originated in Frankfurt. It was good, just not quite as good as some other airlines I've tried. Finally, the service earns a solid five stars. In fact, if I could, I'd give them six. This crew was fantastic. That means, all in, Lufthansa earns 19 out of a possible 25 stars. But let me know in the comments, how do you think they did? From Frankfurt, I was headed to London. That meant I was able to check out the Lufthansa First Class Lounge. I hope you'll join me by continuing to watch to check out this absolutely amazing space. This lounge is one of the most exclusive. It's accessible only by First Class passengers and Han Circle members. As awesome as that flight was, this lounge is even better. I was told I absolutely needed to have the schnitzel. Unfortunately, I was so full from everything I'd eaten on the flight, I had to pass it up. The good news is, though, I'll certainly find a way to return as soon as possible. Now, there's a buffet as well as an a la carte menu. The bar is astonishing in terms of the level of quality. Everything should be on the top shelf. Given the exclusivity of this lounge, there's plenty of seating, and as an av geek, the best part it has some of the best views in Frankfurt. As always, see in the sky.